Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection. So the main reason I want to do this is because I am starting the minimalistic videos as you guys have probably already seen and I'm going to shortly probably be going through my makeup collection and trying my very hardest to narrow it down a lot more than it already is. So I thought it would be cool to show you guys what it looks like right now. So today is November 7th, 2016. So this is my 2016 update. I actually never did one in 2015. I looked back on my videos. Last time I did was two years ago. So I still have the same organization method of the Alex Nine drawers from Ikea. Still using that. It's still the whole thing is filled with them and that kind of thing. I'm just obviously in a different house now and it's set up a little differently but that's what I'm going to show you right now. So here is a quick little overview of what this section of the room looks like. Uh, so I have that picture up there from Ikea. I just find it really pretty. A lamp, the top up here. So this is a little bit messy. Please, please don't mind if that drawer is especially a mess. And it's kind of still in moving mode I guess but like I said I'm going through it shortly so it doesn't even matter so <laughs> um, this I want to be less cluttery eventually but I have to figure out what I want to let go of but I love my little owls here he's from Bath and Body Works him I got off a tag sale site that guy I got the at the Target uh, dollar spot back in like spring I just he's perfect obviously <laughs> um, this came from my friend Brooks in Texas she painted this believe it or not and it's amazing so I love it thank you and behind that is this little gift that we got from our real estate agent to put like party light candles in there so I just need to I don't know find a better place for that when I actually light candles I don't know um, this was a gift from when I left the daycare super cute it had little gummy candies in there which I don't care about but obviously that's adorable this is my nail polish collection back here, and if you guys remember, it was a lot huger than this before, so I am very proud of what it has become, although eventually I do want to get rid of all of these, except the, the Revlon ones, and just convert to the gel formulas from the drugstores and Essie and all that, so we'll see. Here's my random brushes, everything in here, well actually, <laughs> my, <laughs> so a lot of my brushes are in the bathroom sink right now because I gotta wash them, so I have Sigma, Real Techniques, Mineral Fusion, uh, Urban Decay, just a random assortment, Morphe. This mirror came from Cosmetics.com, Q-O-S-M-E-D-I-X, and it was 20 bucks wholesale, so that was awesome. The only thing is I can't get the light to work. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but when I switch it on, it doesn't make a difference. So, yeah. So let's get into the drawers. So you open the first drawer, and this is my everyday drawer. So this is kind of the drawer I go in when I just need to grab stuff and get ready and go. So I have, and it's a mess. I'm sorry. This is in reality what it looks like. I was like, you know what? Why would I stage it for the video if this is really what it looks like? So I have the Naked Palettes, um, the Tar Off the Cuff Palette, MAC Fix Plus, a lot of stuff from the Ride or Die tag if you guys just saw that on my channel. Beauty Blenders, um, Pixie Color Corrector, Lash Blast. Oh, this Trish McAvoy um, concealer, which I'm trying and so far loving. I tried this when I um, I worked for Beauty Blender a couple weeks ago. Fun fact. And well, first of all, I got this as gratis, which was really cool. But um, I I tried this on. It was in a Nordstrom, so I tried this on and I fell in love. So this is my new favorite under eye concealer. So trying that out. Um, this is what I have been using for a long time, kind of getting over it. And yeah, just kind of like everyday stuff. Then you go in this drawer, and this is my face drawer. So I have all my concealers here. I have stuff like Revlon, IT Cosmetics, NARS, all that good stuff. Mineral Fusion, this is my favorite behind the MAC powder, so I love it. Um, oh my god, how long have I had this? Ooh, I need to get rid of that. You know what, I'm getting rid of that right now. I can't stand it. Um, I have CoverGirl, Physician's Formula. These are highlights and face powders. Um, some concealer and then highlights back here. This Wet n Wild stick is amazing. A highlight, 
um, Ben Nye Buff Setting Powder and Ben Nye Banana Powder. Um, my Revlon Color Stay Whipped, which I should probably get rid of because I don't like it that much. But um, and then there's more foundations in here: Makeup Forever, L'Oreal True Match, Pore Vanisher, Baby Skin. So yeah, primers and foundations. In the third drawer is my blush and bronzer drawer. So I have everything in here from cream blush to powder blush to contour powder to overall bronzer. So let's take a look. So back here, Too Faced a little heart blush. This was, <laughs> no lie, I wanted this just because it's adorable. So I know that's awful. <laughs> Positions Formula. This actually, I couponed, and this is actually a really good everyday blush. Um, this, oh god, this is old. I'm probably never going to use it again, but I don't want to bring it back to MAC because look at, look at how cute. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, MAC, uh, NYC Color Wheel Hard Candy. These blushes are really good. Um, yeah, bombs. I don't, oh my gosh. Well, this is really good, guys, because I'm just going through and getting rid of stuff kind of on the spot. Um... So I'm actually getting rid of this tint and sass. I never use that. Clinique blush, which is really pretty. Mary Luminizer, really good highlight. Elf, Milani. This was Benefit Watts Up, and I actually depotted it. So, pro tip. Um, <laughs> this Elf, um, dupe for NARS Orgasm and Laguna. This Be Luscious blush, I need help, guys, okay? I literally only keep this blush because it's gorgeous. Like, help me out. I need to get rid of it. NYC Smooth Skin is a classic. And then this, the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, love. Also this, this Laura Geller Massive like Baked Bronzer was sent to me for some reason. And look at how gigantic that is. Like, it's insane. But it's really good. Um, this is another one that I just thought was so cool because it's huge and it had a cool pattern. But I never use. And it's also so old. So I'm going to get rid of that. And it's pretty good, guys. I'm getting rid of stuff while I'm doing this. Hey, look at me. All right. So fourth drawer is like eyeliner, mascara, primers. This I definitely need to go through at a different time. Um, cause I have like different paint pots, Maybelline liners, um, Maybelline color stay. No, not color stay. The color tattoos. Um, lots of different liners. Mally, Urban Decay, Rimmel, Besame, NYX. Um, these are lip liners, which, let's get real, when do I use those? Um, some backup mascaras that I still have to try. Eyebrow pencils. Um, primers, which, yeah, this I'm never going to use, but this I actually will. Um, let's see, more eyebrow stuff. So now we get to the bigger drawers. This is the fifth drawer, and this is my lip drawer. So this is kind of chaotic. I'm still trying to figure out a better system. I don't really like how this ended up going, just because I got more stuff. So like, I have lips, it's it's very random, please don't mind it. I have NYX lipsticks, Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, Kat Von D, Lime Crime, MAC lipsticks, Maybelline, Revlon lip gloss, Wet n Wild lipstick. I have a lot of different stuff going on in here. I also have some extra lip balm in the back. So this is kind of a huge work in progress, but that's what it looks like right now. By the way, if you're wondering, I got this shelf liner from Walmart. This was a whole project. I also lined the other ones. So this one is in my second set of drawers and this is what's here. Then we go into the sixth drawer. This is eyeshadow palettes. So this is a fun drawer. So I have some Lorac Pro and Naked palettes right here. And then back there, I have Natasha Denona, which are really pretty, but very soft, so they break easily. So that totally stinks for the price. Um, Naked Knockoff, Urban Decay, Motives, Motives, Mally, my MAC palette, and BH Cosmetics. Some single eyeshadows back here, which I still need to narrow down. This Morphe palette, which I recently did a comparison and review on, the 350 and the 35S. So if you're curious on that, check it out in the description below because these are not all they're hyped up to be. Um, and then some more like tiny palettes, CoverGirl, Wet n Wild, Motives, MAC. So that's that. Then the seventh drawer, this is where it becomes less makeup and more like random stuff. So I have 
let's see, eye makeup remover. Um, samples that I want to use, I really narrowed these down too because I don't use samples a lot, but these I really want to. Some Back to Lush stuff, and this is usually where Back to Mac is too, but I just got rid of that stuff. Um, this, which, this is something I'm keeping as like a collector's item, but again, I should probably get rid of this because it's like, what is it doing for me? I, it's probably not even worth anything to be honest, but um, hair stuff back there. Eighth drawer. This is kind of my uh, cleaning drawer, so don't mind these. I'm trying to put like br brush cleaner and stuff in here, but this is, you know, like my uh, my brush mat from Sigma and the Sigma Glove baby shampoo, makeup remover wipes, and then like the two blender cleansers, Castile soap, and tea tree oil. So this is where I go to clean my brushes, and then this is the bottomless pit of makeup bags. So this. Oh god, I need to get rid of these. Help me guys. I don't know how to dwindle these down because I'm so attached, but in reality, will I ever use these? Probably not. So this is kind of just a useless drawer. Okay, so here is an overview of everything. Don't mind that. I have to review all that stuff for an event I'm doing this Saturday, so that will soon be out of here, but yeah. So, that's my setup. Again, that's kind of messy too, so just, you know, don't look. But I hope you guys enjoyed. So I hope you guys enjoyed that overview of my makeup collection. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.